Shevsky here. Welcome to Fantasy House. You like Adventure Time? You like MTV Cribs? Then you're going to love this podcast. Every week, my special guest walks us through their imaginary fantasy house, and it is insanely fun. It feels like you're actually in their fantasy house. Like, it feels like you're there. Like, close your eyes while you're listening to this, okay? This week, my guest is Jamie Rice from the amazing true crime podcast, Murderish. A toilet that wipes their butt for you, a puppy petting zoo, backyard wave pool with a shark. Any of these things sound interesting to you? Well, then this episode is for you. Now, in the words of the great Angelo Bowers, let us do this! You ring the doorbell and it would definitely play some really cool hip hop beat because I love hip hop and rap music. So yeah. like you ring it and it's just like it gets you excited to like go to the door. You're like, oh, there goes my doorbell. It's not annoying at all. It's got a good beat that gets you like It's got a really up. good beat where I'm like dancing on the way to the door to open it. So that would definitely be there. It would be a very thick safe door because as like you said I don't want any weirdos to get in <laughs> yeah um, you know how scary people are out there I know how scary people are and I did have a strange man follow me home in high school and come into my bedroom Terrifying. so I will yeah I gotta have that safe safe door um but yeah it'd be a cool door because I'm really into like modern contemporary so it'd be like clean lines and shit but it would like be thick it would be very safe okay yeah so you walk in um Wait, what song was playing Oh, gosh. I don't know. Just a really, really cool. And maybe it would change. Oh, okay. Maybe it would change. How so Bill Gates of you. It's always changing. It would always change. Okay. Um, and then you walk in and it's a, you know, it's a big entrance. I'm not into like grand pillars, marble, none of that. Yeah. But it would be very simplistic, very clean, open and airy. So you walk in, lots of sunlight, um, minimalist as far as like the decor, not a lot of crap and trinkets everywhere. Yeah. But you'd have really light wood, like maple floors with, oh, you know, nice. like the knots in it and stuff, yeah. big wide planks, like super cool. I love wide planks too. Yeah. Um, there'd definitely be a bathroom somewhere nearby, you know, for guests to use. And I've thought about the bathroom. And when I go to the, you know, I, I just want to not really have to do much. Yeah. So, I mean, I want to have one of those really cool toilets that like at the Japanese restaurants you go to and it does everything for you. Yeah. You literally don't even wipe because it just, you go to the bathroom, <laughs> it squirts a little water, yeah. a little dries you off. It, you just get it up. Blow dry it or does like a robot hand come out and pat you dry? Now the robot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait robot. to use this toilet now. Ooh, my husband might want the robot hand, but yeah. for me, I'll just do the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> just the air dry. It's good. Yeah. Because I feel like one false move could just get weird with oh, that yeah, robot for sure. hand. But yeah, and then it gives you more time too to be like texting your friends while you're sitting on the toilet oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Instagramming. If you don't have to, yeah, Instagramming because you know everybody brings their damn phone into that's the bathroom. I, that's why I reply to all comments. <laughs> Now, you guys, um, crime <laughs> listeners, just know that whenever Shevsky gets back to you, yeah. he is sitting on the shitter when he does That's, that. Uh, no offense, guys. I no offense. I hope you're happy. It's fine. <laughs> That's what I have to do. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. So so this is in the hallway that there's the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Like, So the first thing that I get when I come to the house is like, all right, I can use the restroom because be, yeah. I drink a lot of water. So a lot of times when I do show up at friends' house, I'm like, can I use the bathroom real quick? Then yeah. we'll hug and say hi. And really I got to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I got to go, go to the bathroom. Yeah, it'd be right there. It'd be super, you know, it'd be accessible. But it would be a nice, big, open one story, a kind of like a one story. Oh, yeah. So you walk in and it definitely would not have one of those sitting rooms that nobody uses, which I do have in my house right now. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice presentation when you walk in. It's probably got like the nicest decor in the house, but we never use it. You never just sit there? You never just take a bong rip and just chill out on your couch there? Oh, my God. I haven't taken a bong rip in so long. I have kids. Well, you've got the house for it now. You've it's got the bong sitting room. It's true. Uh, you know, you could build the bong city room. If if I was into that. Um, a rip lounge. A rip. <laughs> a rip <laughs> you just go in there. You can't rip anywhere else in the house but yeah. in the bong, bong yeah. room. That's a, yeah, you got to have some. It's a moderate kind of rule. Now, could you also – this is going to date me. Could you also do um, – the what do they call them? The um, the gravity hits in there. 
Could you also get uh, not the ice me, but chest? someone else could. I don't have an anxiety <laughs> house, uh, attack in your house. Would that give you anxiety? Oh, a gravity rip? I haven't yeah. done that since I was a little kid either. Me My either. God. Yeah, I could not. I wouldn't survive it. Oh, that would be that'd be too much. Yeah, it's then too you, much. You have a panic room after that. You're like, so here <laughs> exactly. you are in the rip room, you, and then over here's the panic room. Yeah, we'll just put a full. You have the paranoid room where yeah. you go and just like rock back and forth yeah. in the corner and see things With and different hip hop playing. To calm different. You down. I would definitely have hip hop playing. Do you know what my cure was though? When mm-hmm. I used to get way too high, I don't know why, but I thought I had it down. When, and also when I knew I had to go home to my parents, mm-hmm. I would eat um, two pieces of um, white bread mm-hmm. and pound two full glasses of water. And I swore that was like my cure to be like, okay, I got this. That's like a low-cal situation anyways, right? I mean, it's carby, super carby. Yeah, but there's nothing else on it. So if it's just carbs by itself, you know, and some water. Yeah. And plus back then it didn't, carbs didn't matter. I mean, I'm talking like I was a teenager. I miss those days. Remember like Del Taco, like chili cheese fries and you don't even gain a pound? Oh, yeah. I remember like super fries at the Mexican restaurants. So amazing. Just carne asada and everything on top of French fries instead of, I mean, it's even, it's just crazy. It's awesome. (laughs) Okay. So you have the dopest bathroom. You don't waste time for... Oh, wait, 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 in this bathroom, is it, what else is there besides the toilet? Is there like, is there a whole like bathing setup and like a cool sink or is it just like? Yeah, there'd be a cool sink. There'd be like one of those floating vanities. I like the floating vanity where it like doesn't touch the floor. Oh yeah. Okay. Really kind of modern and um, it makes the bathroom look bigger, I think. Um, it feels I, nice. Like in a, like when you're in a hotel yeah. too, you just feel like, there's, oh, there's not a lot of spaces for things to be stored that I need to worry yeah, about. Yeah, you don't no need a lot of trinkets, yeah. you know, but there would definitely be like a really cool like jasmine candle. Mm-hmm. You know, there'd be like some open shelving, like the um, floating shelves, you know, mm-hmm. maybe like some light maple wood floating shelves. Oh, yeah. Um, so maple wood's going to be a theme here. I love okay. light maple wood. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Light gray walls, you know, light maple wood floors. I'm picturing it now. I really want this house now. Awesome. Okay, so, yeah, and so you're walking through kind of like the entryway, and I would think that you'd enter into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And the kitchen's important. And the one thing that, well, two things that I would want. I'd want a, I would have a private chef on staff, like, all the time. He would be the one that did all the cooking. Mm -hmm. Before you even walk in the door, you can smell, like, dinner cooking. Is that part of it? Does he he know the responsibilities? Like, you need to get my appetite going by surprising me, buddy. Absolutely. I don't even (laughs) ever tell him what to cook. He just knows he can surprise me sometimes. He can cook some of my favorites, like fish tacos. Um, Hint, hint, if you're applying to be your private chef, guys. Fish, tacos. Like fried fish or grilled fish or uh, I, both. It just oh, depends on what yeah. I'm for. Yeah. I like one of each. Yeah. Whenever one of I each. have a chance when I'm ordering at a restaurant that's yeah. Perfect. One of each. Yeah, definitely. And I tend to go with like the 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 fresh fish. Like if you're like by the ocean, mm-hmm. then I won't get it fried. But if mm-hmm. you're not really close to the ocean, I'll usually get it fried. Do the most of those ocean places though, are they getting the fresh fish from the fish? Probably not. Probably, probably just, not. But you just feel they're like probably it. shipping it from Santa Clarita where yeah. I live. Yeah. <laughs> Back to like the ocean. Totally. <laughs> It goes on an airplane. It's just it's just worse for the environment. That's why we do it. It's yeah. just worse for the environment. Yeah. In my mind, it sounds better. Like I think it's fresh because I'm sitting <laughs> yeah. near the ocean, but it's yeah. probably not. It's like a different word. It's a different like fresh has different meanings. You're like it's true. it feels fresh. Yeah, it feels fresh. It's probably the same fish they use it like um, for the the sushi rolls at Seven Eleven. Oh yeah, I would imagine. No. Not that I've ever had those. Me neither. You probably wouldn't that would survive. That would be gross. That would be What terrible. kind of person would I be? I've had sushi at every <laughs> You'd level. You'd be a horrible person Every level of the food that. chain, I've had sushi. <laughs> I think the first time I had sushi was Costco when I was a kid when it was called oh, Price Club. Oh, my mom they had sushi back then? I mean, if you want to call it that, it's awful. So yeah, the kitchen, I would definitely have a chef and he would just be at our beck and call as douchey as that sounds. But so he it's would a male chef? Yeah, I feel like, I, for some reason, I feel like the men, I don't know why I'm picturing a male, but That's yeah, okay. he'd be- Curious. Yeah, he'd be he'd be a, he'd be a man, and he would like it would be all organic because it would force me to eat healthy if he's getting all this fre- you know fresh picked you know vegetables oh, yeah. and organic and blah blah blah. What's his name? Oh, chef. Chef, chef. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> his name's chef. You just call him chef. He's like <laughs> chef. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything else to call. She, he's, we're just gonna call oh, him chef's chef. Chef's fine. Why not? Yeah, or chef ski. <laughs> Wait a second. In your fancy house, I got to be the fucking You're cook? You're chef. I don't want to cook anything. You can here. take bong ribs before you make the fish take them. Then I'm going to be even more stressed out trying to get your meals out. I'm like, is this going to surprise her? Is this even what she wants, man? Uh, You're going to be eating all the tacos before they're done. Yeah. That's, oh, that sounds great, actually. The chips and the, dip. The fat chef that just eats all the food. Yeah. That sounds like an amazing Miss, job. Miss, I made you a taco. There's one taco left. <laughs> I made it for you. I'm like, but I was really hungry, yeah. asshole. Why does my grocery bill look like it's feeding me and a fat chef? And I only had one taco. You only had one 
and taco. Jeez. All right, so you got chef in there. So I would definitely have a chef. Now, here is something that I would have in my dream house. I would definitely have some sort of contraption, kind of like a whole house vac. You know how people like have talked about like there's a whole house vacuum system? That yeah. I, I've, I've never had one. Someone okay. had, when I, where I grew up, someone had one. Dude, I've never seen it before. It, it sounds amazing. It constantly sucks. I, <laughs> that sounds I like the perfect wife. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say it, folks. No, I was just thinking in my husband's brain. Okay. So I would have some sort of like crumb sucker. Okay. It'd be an odd because I hate fucking crumbs. Oh, yeah. And I have kids and all they do is literally, I think they just eat and crumble the food as they're eating it and they just sprinkle crumbs yeah. everywhere. So it would be some sort of like crumb sucking machine that okay. like automatic, I never had to wipe a counter again. It would just suck the crumbs up. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how this works. I'm not an engineer. I don't know. You're inventing it now. But I'm, but I'm inventing the it. Crumb the, sucker, the crumb sucker, 5,000. <laughs> yes. You've got to have one. Yes. So I would have a crumb sucker. I, of course, I would have a huge commercial fridge. I would have a wine fridge. Um, I would have a snack fridge where you just go in and like that's like the snacky fridge with like fun drinks and stuff like that. So you have multiple different fridges? Like, yeah, I'd have oh, lots of fridges. What's the com- what's a commercial fridge good for? Like keeping big pieces of meat in or like? Yeah, like, a commercial fridge, it's aging. bigger. Because, you know, no yeah. regular fridge, I don't care how big. When you have kids, no fridge is big enough. Like you need a bigger fridge. You, there's never room for all the shit that we put in there. I'm glad you said that because I was like, my wife's complained about our fridge. I'm like, we have a giant normal size fridge but except for we don't like – what are we going to do? We yeah. need an industrial, yeah. a you commercial need the industrial. restaurant. Yeah, because I go and I buy all this like frozen stuff that my family likes to eat. Well, yeah. the freezer's already packed, so then now what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> you know, or you order a pizza and you're screwed because then you put the leftovers, the big box in the fridge and nothing else fits. So. Yeah, you need the ability to just throw it instead of having to Tupperware the pizza individually. Yeah. Just throw the whole box toss in. It in there. Okay, I get this. Yeah, so I need a big commercial fridge that I could go grocery shopping and spend however much money and it all fits. Yeah, okay. You know, okay. So commercial fridge. Um, beyond that, it would definitely fit the whole like modern, you know, clean design. I'd have nice, you know, clean countertops. What kind of countertops? They'd be light. They'd be light colored. I don't want to do the thing everybody does like the – Everybody's doing the white with like the gray vein in it, and it's beautiful. Like white marble, or yeah. uh, what's the other one that they do? There? Like um, like a what do you call it? The name Granite, and then there's it's another a, one. It's, it's a it starts with a C. Brain right? freeze. Yeah, I mean quartz. Me, quartz. Yeah, is it quartz? Yeah, is it quartz? I think so. I don't know. Quartz but countertops, like granite. That. The they one that's the cheaper one that's like more durable is quartz. I think. I think Marble's so. more expensive and yes. it stains, but it looks really cool. You, you've done your research. I love kitchens and bathrooms. God, me too. Eating and shitting. I love. And that like, is both exactly. Of those are and just, you, you just named the reasons why I would not get marble because yeah, it stains, it but stains, it's beautiful. But it looks awesome. It looks if you, amazing. If you can live an elitist lifestyle of not messing anything for up, for sure, which I could never do. Yelling at your kids all the time. Yeah. No. No, I don't want that either. But I love the way it looks. I do too. So. I would do something and I I would do something light, but I would definitely steer clear of the white with the gray just because I think it's been done. Mm-hmm. So I would do something. I love a little sparkle on the countertop, like whether it's like I think gold that's bits. Quartz. Isn't that quartz where it's Could like you be. can do white with like gold bits in it? Yeah, I think quartz has that. I think granite might have that as well. Yeah. So I'm totally down with that. I don't want the rounded edges. I would definitely get the squared off edges. Yeah. I just think it looks more clean. Yeah. So I'd do that. I'd have a big, big sink, like a single basin sink. I don't oh, yeah. I don't need the separation. I just want the big ass sink that like I could clean my German Shepherd in there if I like wanted to. Like a commercial to. sink, basically. Yeah, I need a commercial yeah, sink totally. for sure. Super deep, wide. Um and I would have a lot of light in the kitchen, just like I would throughout the rest of the house for sure. But the crumb catcher is very big. I would definitely have to have that. And the personal chef. So the crumb catcher is like, okay, so you, the thing that I was talking about that has like a vacuum that goes through your house is yeah. like any, like where you have wall sockets, basically, yes. you have like a tube you would hook up, uh, your, like a vacuum, yeah. just the vacuum uh, end. Yeah. Uh, Maybe there's some sort of mechanism that you just push a button and something opens up on the countertop and it becomes a surface where like the crumbs could go right in there. Oh, yeah. And it just goes out. Somewhere, or you could have a Roomba that could actually climb st- stuff and go on Ooh, surfaces that's anywhere. Smart. Like if you just had a Roomba that could, because like, Roombas right now four. stay on the ground. But if yeah. a Roomba could go climb up a the wall. side of a wall like a like a squirrel, I like and then that. Go on the top there, I like that. That could be kind of cool. That would be really cool. That's but the crumb sucker. That's, that's one the crumb of the, sucker. That's I definitely one have a crumb sucker. Yeah. So um, the family room would have like a big ass TV. You know, it would be thin and modern. It would be. It would. Wait, what color is the cabinetry in the uh, in the kitchen? Oh, cabinetry. Um, I would have some open shelving. Okay. I would have a mixture of maybe super like super modern and minimalist. Super modern right and minimalist for sure. And then I would have light colored um, cabinets. I might have the island a really deep 
like navy blue. Oh, yeah, you know, I love that. with like a pull, like I a pull, like a like a drawer pull that like pops. Yeah. you know, maybe a brass or something like that. Um, and then the rest of the kitchen cabinets, the uppers and the lowers would be like a light color. I love that. Probably I love white. the uh, upper ones being light and the lower ones being dark. Me and too. I especially like it when there's an island that has like it, like dark Makes navy blue with brass or gold on it. Yeah. Like, oh, with I a love light that. counter. Oh, man. You're just describing my kitchen Dude. too. The one that I want too. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it too. So yeah, I would have light, but then I would have some open shelving as well. Um, I would definitely have one of those – and I – it's not that special, but I would definitely have one of those magnetic strips where you hang all your butcher knives. Yeah. I always think that's a cool those look in great. the kitchen. My friend Adam and Zoe have that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's functional, but it looks cool. Yeah. And plus, I like knives. Yeah. Murderish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's your logo. Yeah, it's my logo. So, you know, I got to put that up there. Yeah. That's the, the knife that I actually imagined that's at uh, Adam and Zoe's house on their magnet thing. The yeah. one that always sticks out to me is the, what, what do they call that kind of It's like of a knife? butcher knife. Is it a butcher knife? So, yeah. It's it not a like, cleaver, but it's like a nice, It's like a nice, like a sharp pointed. Yeah. Like a long. Like what you see sushi chefs cutting up. Stuff yeah, like. yeah. Exactly. That one. Yeah. Whatever I, it's I should called. know that. Should, I should know like. Yeah, nice. I, mean, I love cooking. You should. Oh, I don't. So I. You don't like cooking? Not know. Oh no, no, no. Oh, that's why you're hiring me to be that's your chef. That's why I'm hiring. There exactly. You go. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. So you got a badass kitchen. Yeah. Oh, what's the lighting in the kitchen? Oh, the lighting. I would have a really cool um, pendant light coming down, or like not a chandelier, but like I don't know if it's called a pendant light, but it would be a cool modern. Yeah. It would have like spokes going like a couple different ways. Okay. Yeah. You know, and it would maybe be gold. Yeah. Okay. I like gold. So it looks like the it looks like a like a it's only it's it's modern, but it's got that steampunk and that like sixties yes. like Disney space kind of feel to it. A little bit. Where like it, it like things are yeah like, poking out all the different sides, but you got cool bulbs on it. And cool it's like, bulbs, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. And it would hang over the island. So yeah, the family room would just be a comfortable, clean place. We'd have a cool fireplace with like some cool tiles around it, maybe to add a pop of color. Um a big TV, a comfortable couch, a couple reclining chairs, but not the grandpa puffy reclining chairs. You don't like those? The, the lazy They're boys? They're so effing comfortable, yeah. but I just, I don't want it in my living room. But nobody likes those. My wife doesn't like them either. And I'm They're like, so I would rather ugly. have like six of those than a couch. And Dude, she's like, no. I'm like, it's so cool. I searched for months for a reclining chair that looked like nice and clean and modern. And I finally freaking found it. And, I, it's ama- and it actually is really, really comfortable. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because my husband's like, just get one of those grandpa chairs that are super, and they're so comfortable. But they're, I just I yeah, don't they like look, them. They look hilarious. Yeah, aesthetically, I'm like, um, oh, they look like they look like nasty, but they're, yeah, but they're super comfortable. The functionality you do it, yeah. melt inside of them. Exactly. Maybe in my living room, I would have two chairs that massage you. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, I would have the one that just like grabs your whole body all the way from your neck down to your like feet. Even your calves and feet get massaged. Calves, yeah. Those everything. things are amazing. Those are freaking amazing. Um, so I would say that the recline. I would have two reclining chairs. They would have a nice light wood arm, Mm -hmm. but they would be a material, uh, maybe like a burnt orange. Okay. And they would recline all the way, but they would look very clean and and sort of modern-ish, maybe like Scandinavian. You like like the sleek modern, like not too cluttery feel. Yeah, not too cluttery. Um, and, And I like modern, but I don't like it to be like modern cold. Yep. But I do like modern there's and an Scandinavian. It. Yeah, yeah. And maybe, you know, there's some industrial stuff that I like too, kind of mixed in a little bit. Not too much. But um, but yeah, these would be sleek chairs. They would look like pieces of art when you walk in, yeah. but they would be super functional. You'd sit down and you'd be able to recline and it's like so comfortable, but it looks pretty. Okay. Looks clean. I like that. The couch would be a big like um, – it would be a big, what do you call it, like a U-shape. Mm-hmm. So it's plenty of room for guests if you want to like lay down and watch a movie, if you want to like whatever you want to watch on that big ass TV that's hanging on the wall. But the couch too would be nice and clean. It wouldn't be like super puffy. Yeah. It would be a little more clean and modern. Okay. And maybe like a cool, like um, not a shiny brass, but like a um, like a brass leg, but not a shiny one. Okay. What's that? I don't know what that's I don't called. Know if that's brushed, like rustic, brush. Yeah, it could be brushed. Brushed something. Brushed is the is the way to go on a lot of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. it's not like really shiny, but it's like a metal, cool yeah. metal leg. And you can do brushed gold too if you really want to yes. splurge and you want brass. Which I like that. Which house, I can. So. Yeah. And I can afford to get gold. Apparently, I'm super rich in this fantasy we're having, <laughs> yeah. so I could just. There's no do whatever. need for money in this world. No need for money. Okay. So all right. <clears throat> so we we checked out the living room. I got a massage in the sweet chair. Absolutely. Let's go check out this backyard. Oh, my God. I'm so excited about the backyard. Okay. Are you a backyard person? 
I am. Yeah. Like we just recently bought a house. We literally just didn't even care what was on the inside. We just wanted the backyard to be what we wanted it to be. Dude, I go outside my backyard. That's where I eat lunch half the time. I'm like, I'm going to go so sit cool. in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. It's like an extension of your house. Yeah, I really. love it. And we live in Southern California. So it's like we're out. You can be outside pretty yeah. much all seasons. There's no reason not to. It's no so reason nice not out. to. Yep. So um, in the backyard, I have always, always wanted this. I want a puppy petting zoo. <laughs> and I what? Want, I want a puppy petting zoo. How, what is that? Is it, I, what it, is it okay. exactly what it sounds like? It is exactly what it sounds like because I love dogs. Mm-hmm. It doesn't everybody, but yeah, I love, love dogs? puppies and their breath and their cuddliness and their big paws and how they're just so freaking cute. I would have like an acre of land with rolling grassy hills and I, th- there would literally just be puppies rolling around, <laughs> running around. And anytime you wanted to, you just enter the puppy, whatever it's yeah. called, the the puppy petting zoo. Yeah. And you could roll around with these puppies and you would just play with them every single day. You could cuddle them. You could smell their breath. You could do whatever you wanted to do. With People are going to come over just for the PPZ. They're oh, gonna for be like, sure. Can I just go straight to the PPZ? You're like, okay. Who wouldn't, right? And of course there would be some per- – like. You know, these puppies are going to get older at some point, and they're all up for adoption. Yeah. Okay, let's just say that. And um, maybe I would charge, you know, you know, if p- families wanted to come, you know, and they wanted to, like, come play with the puppies yeah. and stuff. Maybe i just take donations at the gate, and all that money goes to, like, a 501c3, like a nonprofit yeah. benefiting puppies or some shit. <laughs> benefiting puppies benefiting- or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> so Southern Californian. I don't know, like benefiting puppies or some like, shit. So- Just build the thing. God. <laughs> You could do, I mean, yeah, you'd be, just by having that thing, you could benefit. Like, you could have, like, a post-traumatic stress disorder people. You could have yes. veterans and people that have suffered crazy stuff yeah. just hang out in the puppy people hills. have anxiety or just anything going on, like depression. Yeah. I feel like puppies would totally help. So, yeah, the puppy petting zoo would serve many purposes. Selfishly, I could go out there and roll around with these puppies, and it would be amazing. Mm-hmm. But also, not so selfishly, people could come in and, yeah. you know, deal with their issues. And also, these puppies <laughs> would be getting homes, but then somehow I would get more puppies. Yeah, I'm wondering. I would take strays. I would take strays. That's what, it it would not be filled with puppies that come from like breeders or anything like that. It would be any stray off the street. I could just see the news, the news, the news, uh, uh, they go like, the dark side of Jamie Rice's PPZ. (laughs) She's out there dog fighting these puppies. Yeah, I bet you didn't know where she gets these puppies from on a current affair. These (laughs) puppy mills. Yeah, you no, kick I would people never out do when that. you come home after a stressful day. Like everybody out of the puppy zoo, everybody out. I everybody. need it to myself. I need it to myself. All the handicapped kids are like, but I was just. <laughs> I said, get out, get out. Yeah, no, it, that would probably happen a few times, but <laughs> that's between us. Don't tell anybody. No one's gonna hear this. No, exactly. It's between you and me and the listeners. That's all. Just does. It's just our little us. secret, guys. Yes. So yeah, puppy petting zoo. I mean, I sw- somebody should have this already. So yeah. if they don't have it, like this is going to be at my house for sure, and it would serve many many purposes. So I would have that. Um, I also thought of something cool. Even though I don't surf, I'm actually afraid of sharks, so mm-hmm. I would never surf. Me too. But I thought because my neighbor surfs, and we were talking about this a little bit last night, I thought it would be really cool in the backyard to have like a wave pool. Like Ooh, you yeah. just can go and surf. You could go in your backyard. I mean, obviously, I'd have a big ass pool and everything. But you'd have like a wave pool where you just go and take your surfboard. The shark surf. free surf experience. Yeah, I, I might put a shark in there just for kicks. <laughs> because <laughs> you got to make it interesting, right? Because I'm not using it. Yeah. So I mean, I could put a shark in you, there. You won't even go in the surf pool in your own house that you're inventing in your fantasy house. Like, no, no, there could be sharks in there. No, there could be a shark. I used to feel like that in pools when I was a kid. Oh, like, you what know if what? There's a shark in here. Like, yeah, we could get in somehow. I did too. Like, did you ever swim at night, like with the lights off? And it feels weird. Yeah, it 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 feels weird, even though you're like, I'm here though. Yeah, I know. I'm in a pool. But what is it about that? That may, I mean, it is. It's it's scarier. What about like those it, those places that you go to and you watch a movie in a pool at night? You watch Jaws. I haven't done in that. a dark pool. I like there's done that. experiences that you can pay for. Are you serious? And you can be like sitting in an inner tube in a dark pool with a bunch of other people. And you watch Jaws up on the no big screen. No thanks. Yeah, what? Just peeing in there out of fright <laughs> and everyone's peeing at the same time. Or just because you've had too many beers, you just don't want to get up. I, this is, yeah, I guess I'm not an X Games kind of guy when it comes to shark stuff. No. I'm like, nope, no thanks. No. Okay, so you have a surf machine in your yeah. backyard, like an insane person. Mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I might throw a shark in there just because. Well, that's the part that makes me think like an insane person. Oh, got it. The okay. regular surf thing, I was yeah. like, that's pretty cool. And then you throw a shark in there. And then it's insane. Now I'm not going you, in that thing. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, so I would have that. And it would be a big, big backyard. Lots of grass. Of course, you know, you'd have the big built-in barbecue. You'd have the fireplace. It'd be all set up to just like literally live outside and have a blast. Yeah. You'd have a big pool house that had a huge bar 
like fully stocked bar, bartender at all times. So you have a chef and a bartender. I working. do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, you know, you got to have the pool table, the darts. You'd even have a big TV and a big, you know, uh, comfy couch in the pool table in case anybody wants to crash or watch a movie there or yeah. whatever. Um, fruit trees, because I love lemons and limes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do that whole Straight deal. Straight for your bar right there. You need a lime? Oh, you Bam. have to. Yeah. yeah. And that's all I really use lemon and limes for. <laughs> <laughs> right? That. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the backyard would be pretty pretty bitchin but the puppy petting zoo would be like the the highlight for me for sure um going back in the house yeah sure so or going, we gotta go to the garage go. too oh the garage yeah that's like uh, uh the garage is just where i store junk so but i would want it nice and clean i mean there would be like you know a couple badass cars in there whatever a badass car is I'd probably have like for me a badass. So you're a car person. <laughs> I like Teslas. I mean, I would get oh, I would yeah. get a Tesla. That'd be fun. Yeah, I would get a Tesla. Um, Which one, the SUV or the uh, little coupes? I like the um, the S. The SUV kind of looks like an egg to me, but it's badass inside. It it is really really nice inside. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool inside, but it kind of looks like a like an egg. I don't like the way any of them look. You I'm, don't. I'm you not don't. Crazy about them. Oh, I, I like, like the S. I like. I wish that they would just take like um, like a Dodge Charger or something like that and make oh, that a full. Oh, you're more muscly. Like, no, like I just like. There's something about those the body. The body of like classic cars that have been modernized, and Dodge did an amazing job with they taking did. The old cars and making them super modern. Yeah. Chevy tried with the. What's the Camaro, you know? Oh, but yeah, Camaro, yeah, yeah. It, it, does, it doesn't have the same feel, but Dodge really nailed that, in my opinion. Yeah. And I think Ford does really well with it, too. Some of the Ford cars that they modernized, some of the Mustang stuff. And yeah. They, I like the way they look. And I'm like, couldn't they just make that an electric car? Yeah. Which I think Elon Musk has gotten pretty close with Tesla, but it's yeah. still, it's a little bit, it's still not totally my style. But yeah. that doesn't matter. This isn't about me. Well, Damn it's it. fine. It's fine. It's fine, John. It can be about you. I would love a Tesla, though. Uh, yeah, fuck. But you would not pass up on a Tesla. I would not pass up on a Tesla. No. no. They're they're pretty cool. No, they're awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I would just have like the family car, the big SUV too. I don't know which one. What would I have? I mean, I don't really care about that. You don't have to. I, I you know what? Curious. Somebody's driving me everywhere. There you go. Pretty much. Somebody's driving me everywhere. I'm Ubering or some shit. Okay. I mean, I'm not like, you know. You don't even have to. Is it just like more of a headache to even worry about the cars? You're like, I don't even want to worry about the cars. Yeah. Just, you know, I don't even want to worry about it. I don't want to have to. Yeah. So I think that I'd be driven everywhere. Yeah. For the most part. Okay. And then you can drink and. Not you like to drink. Things. You like to like chill out and like. I do like to chill, and I. It's funny. I don't really. I don't really drink on school nights. Yeah. Um. But I do like to have cocktails on the weekend for yeah, sure. That's, that's beer, living. whatever. Yeah. It's called wine. living, folks. It's called living. Get your yeah. Celebrate Friday night with Get a cocktail. Get the stick out of your butt, guys, and celebrate Friday night. Totally. Okay. Um. So yeah, the garage. I don't know. I'd let my husband do whatever the hell he wanted with the garage. He, that's my, very nice he of you. He would have. He would have crazy, crazy amounts of like every tool you can think of. Is he a tool dude? He likes yeah, to build he, stuff and he, mess with stuff? Yeah, he's he could build anything. He's a contractor, so he like builds shit. So yeah. the garage would be his domain. Okay. So he's gonna have a big white pickup truck in there with, with a bunch yeah, of stuff. Yeah, he'd have a big like diesel truck that can pull a big ass trailer and yep. like he would help, you know, do Does all that. Does he have like toys and stuff like that? Like weekend toys for mm-hmm. the desert and stuff like that or what? Yeah, we have yeah, we, we do the trailer thing, we do the um the toy hauler thing and go camping. Okay, so the so so, that's the garage. So that's, you're cool, you're gonna let your husband have the uh-huh. garage. I love that. Yeah. And I, we would have a boat for sure. Like, I mean, like a party boat. Like, I'm even cool with like a pontoon. Okay. Just to take out. There's so many lakes out here that we could visit, you know, so we'd probably have like a big pontoon boat that we'd take out. Um, going back into the house. Okay, so the master bedroom, Some this is the other thing that I want, then I have to have it. Everything else doesn't even matter. <laughs> I want, and I don't know who's going to invent it for me, but basically it's a contraption. I don't know if it, co- if when you're laying down on your bed, I don't know if it comes down from the ceiling or... Or what or how it's going to work, but it is a tickler, and not 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 like a weird tickler, but like you know how it feels so good and it's so relaxing for somebody to like tickle your back or, I don't know, for a girl like we yeah. love getting our hair like play with my hair because yeah. like literally we'll just all call, if somebody plays with my hair I'll fall asleep in five minutes. Oh yeah, it feels well, it's like a scalp massage. Too. Yes, like, it just is like all those senses. Best and thing ever. So like a tickler. The best way to fall asleep, and I always wish that I could have this, is just. Something to like tickle my back while I'm laying in bed. Do you mean tickle to where you laugh and you giggle? No, like you mean like make nice, like like a make nice. Yeah, my mom used to rub my brother's back. She'd call it making nice. Can you make nice? And she would just like kind of like. That's what my wife likes too. When when she goes to sleep, she just wants to. Yeah. Yes. So you guys. I would have one of those. A nice maker. Yeah, a nice maker that would like pop down from the ceiling or something, and it would just not like tickle, make you laugh, but it would like relax you. That's so cool. You push a button and and then you just fall asleep, and you're just like. 
Did you oh. just invent that? I just invented that. I mean, I want it so bad. That's so, I can't wait to tell my brother and my wife about the nice maker. Oh my God. And I, that's so funny that you guys used to call it making nice. Yeah. I that don't know my so wife calls cute. it that. She just says rub my back. Yeah. Because I like like hardcore massages. Like I need like someone to dig. I have all these aches and all my problems yeah. and all my injuries. I'm like, I need someone to like painfully dig into my muscles. Yeah. And anytime I ever, when I used to give her a massage, she'd be like, ow, like, no. She's like, God. She's like, just kind of like, r- like run your hands on my back like this. I was like, okay. <laughs> You're like over there like kneading. This is, yeah. This is not so going to, this is not going to heal you, but yeah. all right. <laughs> If, if I went to the massage therapist and that's what they did, I'd be like, uh, I got some fucking injuries here. What are you doing? <laughs> They're just like literally like caressing yeah. you. Yeah. You're like, listen, bitch. That'll be 60 bucks. I'm like, Dig what? It you just rubbed your fingers on my back. <laughs> but I see the I see the value of like, yeah, if like you it don't just need someone to give you deep you. tissue to just have the relaxing. Yeah. It's, it's like at the end of the day when you just, it's kind of like the same reason people listen to like a, a noisemaker or like mm-hmm. a rain app on their phone to help yeah. them fall asleep. The best thing to help me fall asleep is if some contraption just softly, like, made nice. Yeah. You know, that would be so amazing. So you've invented the uh, Crumb Sucker 5000 yeah. mm-hmm. and the Nice Maker 5000. Yeah. This has been a pretty good <laughs> episode totally already. I want to call it the Nice Maker. This is so many good, yeah. Can you, you got make a nice, nice maker? I got a Nice Maker. I could totally picture you asking your mom when you were a kid, Mom, can you make nice? Can you make nice, please? <laughs> It was my brother's thing. He would always be like, can you make nice? And like, she would just like rub his back. I'd just be sitting there like, what the hell's the matter with you guys? I need a deep, t-. even at seven, I was like, I need a deep tissue massage. He's got injuries. And, yeah, yeah got I am injured back. here. I had bad knees at seven. I was like, oh listen, I, I've got a hip flexor issue here. And this nice making is not getting to the root of the problem. I'll tell you that. Okay, so we got some badass tools now. Okay, for sure. Uh, what's what's your room like, like uh, aesthetically? What's the, the so aesthetically definitely is still matching the. I mean, I'm all about no carpet in the bedroom. My husband. Oh, even totally, in the bedroom. Yeah, huh? yeah, but my husband disagrees. So he's yeah. all about the carpet. He wants to step off the bed and fill carpet between I'm his with toes. Him on that one, yeah. Okay, okay, so I'm cool with it, but it would have to be like a short Berber or something like that. You know, okay. nothing like nothing fluffy. Um, you don't like polar bear all the way. Polar bear shag room. carpet. Just, I feel like it's um, like unsanitary. I think it is, but it feels really good between your toes. Yeah, no, and you're right. Dude, you're totally right. And trust me, you'll forget about it being unsanitary because it feels so good. You can't vacuum those. I was at a house. I was at like a fancy, I think it was John Wayne's old house in Newport Beach like 10 Uh years ago. And the the rug, it felt like you were walking on a shag carpet, like just a little rug. Yeah. But the whole carpeting was that, which is like, I don't even know how they lay that kind of carpet and make it blend (sighs) in. But How does the door slide over it? I don't remember. I was yeah. in awe by how cool it felt to walk on the carpet. I yeah. was like, this guy just walked around. I don't, it's probably, the carpet's probably changed since John Wayne lived there. Right. But I just, I thought it was cool and I haven't seen it since. Yeah. And it's probably, it's super comfy. It is but really But then comfy. you start thinking like, oh God, what's in that? Yeah. You, you know? find stuff. It's like walking around in the sand yeah. in Venice Beach. Like there's a hypodermic needle, yeah, like a bottle opener, some cheese. broken glass, yeah. Yeah, an old piece of cheese, something, a homeless guy eating the whole piece of cheese. Yeah. There's a homeless guy in the carpet. I mean, I could totally imagine that happening. Your husband's like, Jamie, you're right. We need just wood floors. <laughs> wood floors. What floors it is. Um, and it would be very, like, light and bright for sure. But I would definitely have, like, a mechanism over the, you know, blackout curtains or something so that I can sleep as long as I can. Because it's really hard for me to sleep in as it is. Like, I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I'm Are you going to bed like at that. a good time? I, I Yeah. I'm not, like, a night owl. Okay. But, like, on the weekends, I'll probably go to, like, fall asleep by, like, 11. Okay. But on, like, school nights, I'm probably in bed by, like, 10. Very cool. So we're in the we're in the where were we? We're in the master bedroom. Yeah. Okay. We're in the master bedroom. Definitely, you know, my I would have like you know, of course, the double sink, and I would have it would be a floating vanity. Mm-hmm. Again, I love the floating vanity. Um, the shower would be fairly big, but it doesn't have to be just because I have so much money. It doesn't mean that I have to have like a gigantor shower that you don't really need that much space. Yeah. But it would have a place to sit. It would have the little nooks in the wall or what do you call the inlays where you could like put your shampoo and stuff like that. Um, have a couple different, you know, nozzles with cool settings. Something, whatever happens in my house, I have to have good water pressure. Oh, yeah. I would have the most amazing water pressure that you've ever seen in your life. Like you have would, to. Yeah, you do. And it would almost be like a scalp massage while you're taking a shower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it would all be um, – the water would be soft, mm-hmm. and maybe I'd even have, like, a whole house filter system. Super soft water that, like, when you get out of the shower, you don't even have to, like, squeegee the doors. Oh, yeah. You're just, like, it's falling right off because oh, it's soft awesome. water. Yeah, I, lo- I love a soft water system. And, and it's filtered everywhere in the house, so you can just drink water from Right wherever. out of the shower. I love that. Yeah, if you get thirsty, you just drink out of the oh, shower. That's so great. Yeah. That's I'd have good. that. Yeah, I'd have that. I'd ha- Of course, I'd have a huge closet. Of course, I'd have, like... 
I, I would have a huge closet. What's the flooring like in the bathroom? Oh, in the bathroom would be a really cool, um, maybe like a mosaic tile. Okay. You know, I would make the bathroom special. It wouldn't have the same um, white oak as like the rest of the house. I'd make it pop, like yeah. something different. You got to. You got to yeah. take that opportunity and do something fun with it. Definitely. So maybe it would be like a really cool, colorful, like mosaic uh, tile pattern, maybe with some like, I'm really into maybe like little, like little burnt orange with a, maybe a little bit of teal and some whites and grays, Okay, yeah. something like that. Um, and then the, t- and then the, the sink, like the countertops would be pretty minimalistic. They'd be light color, maybe just like a pure white, um, floating vanities, big sinks. What color are the faucets or what are they made out of? Um, they would be not shiny. They would brush. I like the brush. Yeah, me too. Gold, whatever that is. Yeah. Brushed brass. I don't know. You could do brushed brass, brushed, Something. brushed gold. Yeah. Yeah. Brushed goldish color. Um, and mirrors. Yeah, definitely, definitely some mirrors with good lighting. Yeah. Like the kind of lighting, if you go to like a high-end store to buy out, buy, buy clothes. Yeah. That kind of lighting that just makes you look amazing. amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like no matter what, you're like, I You love yourself so every day. Okay. Yeah. You're like, oh, my God, I'm like totally Giselle Bunch today. <laughs> you get out of your closet, you're like, I'm, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I look it. great in this. Yes, yes. You just feel like a million bucks. <laughs> you get in your car and actually look at yourself in the mirror. You're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> wrong mirror, wrong lighting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what shape are the mirrors? Like, um, The mirrors would be, they would be rectangular. Tangular, but they would be like more vertical. Okay. You know, I like a nice square versus yeah. like a round or an oval. Yeah. Um, yeah, they'd have really good lighting. What else would I want my bathroom to have? Um, what colors? What color are the walls in the bathroom? Oh, let's see. So if I've got the colorful tile, then I'm de- I'm gonna have to go. I hate to sound boring, but it's gonna be a really, really, really light gray, almost white. Okay. But um, it would really pop because it would have a really thick. What's this called? Um, the the, uh, the white. Oh, the, the molding? Yeah, the molding. Yeah. It'd yeah. be like a nice thick molding, like even like a little thicker than that. Oh, yeah. Like a little taller than that. I love like giant jumbo molding. Yes. It's so cool. It looks so cool. I notice that in people's houses versus yeah. like, you know, you go in like a standard, like a track oh, yeah. home, you know, and I'm sh- I have them at my house, I'm sure. But like the little tiny, oh, you sure. know, like mold, it just. When you go to a house that has like space in it. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I yeah, I, I went to a house once that just had so much space in it, and the molding was giant, and the doors were giant, and and it didn't feel gaudy to me though. It felt no. like really like I was like I never feel like I'm like like I'm too big for this or that I have to turn a certain way to walk through an area or yeah. which I I've lived in so many like different places in LA that are so small that you have to like scrunch to get through the hallway, yeah. get to the bathroom, or you know. Yep. There's something about giant molding that looks really cool if it's it done in a big enough cool. place. Oh yeah. And I definitely would imagine in my house to have a big, wide, long hallway. Yeah. To get from like the kitchen family room area down to where all the bedrooms are. I kind of like that idea. And along the hallway would be these I don't know if you call it like wall to wall. It would just be one of those sliding window yeah. Things that just like open up, you it know. It could be fully open, like no screen or anything. Just fully, fully open, open, no screen, and, oh, yeah. and you walk out into like a really cool sitting air, outdoor I sitting love area. That. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And it would also provide like a really well lit, like sunny, like hallway area. Yeah. And I don't know why that's so appealing to me, but it just is. And I can well, you picture like it in my mind. Lighting in this whole place, you've mentioned that in every spot. You're like, yes. natural lighting, natural lighting, which natural is great. lighting, natural lighting. Oh, and I didn't mention I love a um, vault, like a ceiling with the wood. Planks, what do you call it? The uh, beams. Yeah. Light, they would be the light oak beams that would sort of match the floors, the light oak floors. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, the beams would be really cool. That like looks it would good with come, natural lighting, too. Yeah, it would come up to, into a V with some cool beams. Nice. Oh, yeah. I would love, love, love that. Um. So, yeah, we talked about the hallway, the master bedroom, big closet. Um, what do you have on the walls in the house? Is it just family pictures, so, artwork? So, yeah, I would definitely have family pictures. I love a good, you know, mix of family pictures. And I'm really into just like uh, a lot of the candid casual stuff, not so much like the posy posy stuff. Yeah. So, like, you know, just candid pictures, you know, Stevie jumping into the pool, you yeah. know, and like an action shot of her jumping in the pool. Put that up on the wall. Yeah. Um. So I would definitely have some family photos. I love a good collage, like. A, um, you know, different frames yeah. all, you know, in one area. I love that. But I would definitely, I love dimension on the walls. So things that pop. So um, sort of like two cool baskets, mm-hmm. like maybe some weaved baskets or like metal. Yeah. Um, 
gold colored baskets hanging off the wall. So it's like 3D popping off yeah. the wall. I love that. So you like like sc- sconces and fun things. With, yeah, yeah. Cool stuff. Like I love dimension uh, coming off the walls. Not too much, but like enough of it to where it's just kind of like a cool element. Yeah. Um, geometric kind of stuff I really love. So geometric artwork with like different shapes and oh, stuff yeah. like that. I love um, putting like a really cool rug and hanging it on the wall. A really colorful rug. Like, let's say you've got like light, light, light gray walls. You've got the light floors. You've got the minimalistic furniture, but then you have like a cool pop of color, like a rug. Yeah, like on a, a tapestry that's like an art installation. There or you like go. An art, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. That's very, that's very like uh, inspiring when you see that too. When it, when it's a little bit off the wall and it's lit properly from the yes. ceiling or from the sides, and you, yes, it like it just jumps out at you. It's it really does. cool. Yeah, yeah. I could totally picture that element being there. Um, I love candles. I'm a sucker for a candle that not only looks cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I generally buy candles that, again, like they're they're sort of 3D, like geometric. You know, like the 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 case that it's in or the jar that it's in is like you touch it and you can feel bumps. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like it's geometric. Um, and I love a jasmine candle, like jasmine, gardenia, those kind of smells. Yeah. Amaze balls. Amaze balls. Yes. Is that a candle scent? I may I do get amaze balls scent. It's very musty. Yeah, it's very musty. <laughs> it's kind of a tangy candle. Amaze balls. <laughs> smells like a hot, sweaty summer is, day. Is there a guest uh, bedroom or anything? Yeah, like that? for like, sure would have a guest bedroom and it would be super cozy and uh, really comfy bed. Um, candles, um, pretty minimalistic. And it would have a TV, it would have a nice, cool fan because, you know, you got to have give your guests a fan. Um, it would have, Do like, you? Is that like a guest thing? Like your guests got to have a fan? They do because I have to have a fan. So I feel bad oh, that oh, okay. I, they need to have a fan. Yeah. I feel like everybody should have a fan when they sleep. I don't know. Are but, you a fan person? Am I a fan of fans? I have to have a ceiling fan going like 24-7. You have to have like a little mini kitchen area in your guest room. Like you have, it's like a full blown. Oh, that's great. Guest, call it a guest house. Yeah. I'd have a guest house. So it'd be off, it would be off the. It'd be a little off okay. somewhere in the backyard, but it'd be off, you know, of the main house and it would just have everything. It'd be a mini house. You for have your to walk guests. through the puppy hills, and the puppy you, paintings. And maybe, the... or that would be separate. Okay. I mean, but I mean, if you wanted to, you could. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be cool. If I was crashing there, I'd be like, I get to walk through the puppy, puppy zoo. Yeah, they might bite your ankles, but that's actually the no, appeal. I do not mind little puppies bite my I ankles. I love when they bite your ankles. Yeah, puppy bites are amazing. God, they're sh- razor sharp now. teeth. God, I can But they're so cute. Right they're so, and the ones with the big paws that are just so. Oh. Oh, yeah. clumsy and like so cute like a golden retriever that's like oh. two months old is oh. like just the most adorable thing ever it's the golden retriever puppies are like yeah they're amazing yeah so freaking cute seriously um i would definitely have a full-blown not just a podcast studio where i would record and i'd have like the triple screens for you know editing and i'd have the coolest mics and it just soundproof but it would also be a really cool room, like a Zen room that I could sit down on a really comfy couch and like research stories for the podcast or yeah. send out, you know, cards to Patreon supporters, stuff yeah. like that. Like just a room that's mine and it's all about podcasting and it's all about like where I go and I can research and there's sunlight coming in. Yeah. That's your lady cave. Like That's my lady there. cave. That's, yeah. That's the, the mama study. For sure. And there'd be like an espresso machine and there'd be <laughs> like a mini fridge if I want to crack a beer, you know. Um, it would – yeah. Oh, I can picture it now. Yeah. Um, I'd probably have a gym too. Yeah. I, I need a gym in my house. I just – just it that has everything and I'd probably have a personal trainer on staff. Oh, yeah. You know, just to make me like – you get up in the morning and be like, don't be lazy today. Just go Like he just steps. walks in the room and yells at you like, get up. Get up, get Jamie. Up. Jamie, wake up. Oh, my God. You got work he's, to do. He's liable to get punched in the eye if he does that. <laughs> but once I've had my coffee – he can yell at me all he wants. You're good. You're good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, it, give me a shot to the veins of the caffeine, and then you can yell at me all you want. Once you get your coffee, like you'll, you'll just haul ass at the gym. You'll oh, like, for I can sure. Handle this shit. I'm, I'm good. Okay. I can handle anything after coffee. Coffee is, is good. Caffeine in general coffee. is just really nice when, when you know how to use it right for stuff. So true. Like on a long bike ride, and you're like, let's get some espressos. Yeah. And you're just like, I can go for another 100 miles. I can miles. go forever. Yeah, it's the yeah. best. Yeah. No, it's, coffee's coffee's amazing. One cup in the morning. One cup in the afternoon. Oh, man. Sets me off right. Like, it's just a really cool. And you know what it is? It's like once you've been drinking coffee for so long, don't you feel like – I don't even know if it affects me anymore, but it's just the ritual of it. Oh, it affects me like crazy. Oh, it does. Oh, You're one yeah. of those. I had green tea this afternoon at like, what, noon? Now, green like, tea will get you jacked up. Yeah. This, green tea is like crazy. Yeah. 
I had green tea like at about noon. So kombucha or no, no, that's the other one. What's the what's the green? Oh, m- matcha. Oh, matcha powder. That's, yeah, that's actually the stuff ground up. So you drink the actual particles as well. Yeah. Yeah, that shit gets me jacked up. Yeah. Like, and I feel like it's I have a pretty high you. tolerance, but it is good for you, it's right? Good for you. Right? Yeah, very good for you. Um, and I, oh, my kitchen would definitely have a really bitchin coffee station like with you could make any kind of amazing coffee drink that you wanted espresso. and you'll make that yourself so you have a private chef but for coffee you'll, you can i'll make it myself because i do enjoy that yeah yeah i do enjoy that and i'm you know like coffee is just like a thing where i'm sort of picky about how i want it yeah so i would definitely be making it myself but it'd be cool in my kitchen to have like a really cool coffee bar station or whatever you want to call it do you like like the process of actually like like the the focus of like making your coffee mm-hmm. like the whole steps yeah I like everything about it yeah when i wake up in the morning like i'm like i said i'm an early bird i mean even on a saturday i'll be up at six o'clock it's still dark out yeah but i literally wake up and i get excited because i'm gonna go have coffee wow that's how bad it is that's great though. so i am an addict but i'm not an <laughs> addict in the sense that like i can't drink a venti it's too big yeah but i love coffee the ritual of it, I think, is what I love. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's great. I think yeah. that's that's cool that you have something. Even even if you said you're an addict, that's still funny that you're like, I look forward to it at six in the morning when it's oh. dark and I'm up on a Saturday yeah. for my coffee. That's kind of cool. I'm I'm one of those annoying people. That's I'm a super morning person. Yeah, I do all my best thinking. I'm excited in the morning about the day. The morning's amazing. Oh yeah, I've become a morning person because of the, the baby, baby, and like now I love it. And yeah. it's, I love seeing the sunrise. I love the coolness of the air, the crispness. Me too. Yeah, There's something awesome. about it and you just feel like you're so productive. You get so much done. By the time it's noon and people are just like barely waking up a couple hours earlier, you're like, yeah. dude, I got so much done. Dude. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm happier in the morning for like being up in the morning than waking up at noon and being like, the day's almost Ugh, over. So depressing. It's so nice getting up in the, in the morning. Not too early. Yeah. Not yeah. 435. No, now that's unnatural. No. Now that pisses me off. That is the devil's time to be waking up. That's the devil's no time to wake up. But getting up at seven or eight, beautiful. So amazing. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. So okay. Yeah, those are the main points I think of my dream house. Okay, so like let's say that I was there, I visited, I crashed in the guest house. It was really nice. I woke up, I made myself uh, a hot cocoa and mm-hmm. some green tea and a mocha frap. Mm-hmm. Chef would I'm, be inside cooking you whatever breakfast you what, wanted. Whatever I wanted. So mm-hmm. uh, salmon uh, seared s- salmon uh, sashimi mm-hmm. with uh, a side of sushi rice. Yeah. I'm ready for breakfast. Mm-hmm. And then uh, is there before I leave, is there any, any place in the house I got to see or any room in the house that, that I'm like, you got to see this before you go, though. This place is going to blow your mind. You know what? <laughs> I know uh, I'm obsessing. It's, it's hard to like top the puppy. Uh, it really petting is. Zoo, so. And I think in addition to the puppy petting zoo, mm-hmm. I think that I would want some window in my family room where I spend most of my time that I could always just go out and look at the puppies, like from the window. If you don't necessarily want to get up and go outside and see the puppies, yeah. you're in the family room and you always in your peripheral, you see puppies wow. doing what puppies do. So you don't even need to interact and interfere with the puppies. Nope. Like an indigenous tribe that you're like, I'm oh, not no. going to contact them and ruin their thing. No. You could just but you look, can just look at them and be like a Zen. It's like when I look at my cats sleeping. Yes. Sitting up like in the Sphinx thing or the, yeah. is it the Sphinx? Is that yeah. what it is? Like where they're just I like sitting so. in that, yeah. that position of like the Sphinx in Egypt, you know? Yeah. And they're just sitting there and they're kind of like awake and asleep at the same time. And you're like, all is well. I am it makes fine. You just happy. Look, yeah. I feel like I would feel the same way looking at the puppies. Totally. And can you picture this? Like you're in your family room and you're just chilling. Maybe you're drinking wine or whatever. And you look out and there's like 10 puppies that, you know how they like pile on top of each other and sleep that way sometimes? Yes. I would look in their little fat bellies. I yeah. don't know. I'm just picturing this and it would make me so happy. I feel like I'm like craving, you know, like when you talk about food. And you're you're like, craving Man, I really puppies. Want the food. I, like, I want to lay on a field with like 50 puppies right now. It's I like mean, a, yeah. I, I haven't thought about that for years, if it's, ever. Like, If there's anything going on in your life, but you go and roll around in grassy fields and hills with puppies, it all goes away. Oh, my God. It's like if I could put a virtual reality helmet on right now and just be like in mm-hmm. the, the background for that. Remember like Windows 98 background? Oh, yeah. It would be that. <laughs> or the movie Toys with, yes. uh, with, with, with Robin Williams. Woody, yeah. And, and, uh, no, not Toys. What am I thinking? What's the movie with Robin Williams where he's like, the the cover of it is like oh. really grassy hills and like, oh, he's is like it, a trippy toy factory. It's not Doubtfire. Not no, no, Doubtfire. no. That's uh, the totally close. Different. You're just throwing out Robin Williams movies now. I mean, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I don't wait, really watch a lot of movies. Well, the, the, I'm just thinking like grassy hills. I know listeners yeah. are probably saying it right now as they're driving. Like, they are. They're like, God you idiot. It's so and so. God, he's an idiot. Grassy but, hills. But, but like just grassy hills, blue sky, and then just like fluffy 
puppies just Gosh. licking, biting my ear, nibbling yes. on my toe, and just like just oh hugging them. God, I love puppies so much. I Jeez freaking love Louise. puppies. I should have brought one with me today. Do you have access to puppies? I just mean, I one? I don't know. I feel like this is L.A. You could probably find one on the street somewhere. Right? There's somebody exploiting even puppies <laughs> yes, in this town. This yes. sick town. The sick town. Oh, that's so great, though. I, I would love to just stand in front of that window, like we're just hanging out there, and I'm just like eating my sashimi and just like. <sighs> Look at those puppies. The puppies. Puppies don't do anything like bad. They're just perfect. What a way to start the day, huh? Honestly, you'd be so happy. As you're guzzling your coffee. Yeah. <sighs> it's going to be a bright, 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 oh, sunny day. Ah! <laughs> oh, so great. You get a puppy. You get a puppy. <laughs> I wish Rogan did what 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 Oprah does and just gives and just just gives people things like that. That would be awesome. That'd be funny. Well, yeah. I guess he doesn't have a live studio audience. He should. He honestly should. He could command an audience they'd, for sure. They'd probably they'd probably distract him if, yeah. if he had a live studio. It's probably I, if it ain't broke, don't fix the Joe Rogan. That's experience. true. He's That's got the whole say. formula just right. So just leave it alone. Um, <laughs> dude, uh, seriously, that's an outstanding house. Uh. Is it on? Is it on a hill or on the flat ground or where's it? Is it's de- oh, that is actually a key point that I missed. It's definitely perched on top of a hill, with a killer three hundred and sixty view of beautifulness. I think I would want a view of some sort of body of water. So there's definitely a view of water. Um, you know, let's just go with ocean waves. Beautiful. You need. You need to. Yeah. There's nothing like. Falling asleep or waking up in the morning to hear the ocean waves. Oh, I know. Right? And the fresh air is like the you cannot air, beat it. You cannot yeah, beat salty fresh, air. fresh air from the ocean is like unbelievable. It is. So, yeah, let's go with that. And you'd have a 360 view. It'd be amazing. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, your house has been amazing. Thank, Thank you for having me. No problem. Thanks for coming over. Super cool. Mm-hmm. Take a puppy uh, while you're at it. <laughs> puppies to go? You yeah. have swag bags full yeah. of puppies? Yes. That is Adorable. <laughs> I, will, I will take a puppy. It's a yeah, it's, it's a huge commitment of a gift to take. But you Literally, know what? just I'm, take a puppy. You can't say no if someone hands you a beautiful little puppy that's just like super happy. Like you can't yeah. say no. No, you're a horrible person if you say no. No, right? I can't. I can't say no. no. I'm taking a puppy home from Take this episode. It's uh, my virtual puppy. I'm taking <laughs> yes. this episode, I ended up with a virtual puppy. <laughs> my little Tamagotchi pal. <laughs> um, where can uh, listeners uh, look you up? Where can they find you? So listeners can find me on any podcast app. The the name of my podcast is Murderish. Um, it's a true crime podcast. They can also find me on social media on Twitter at Murderish Pod, Instagram Murderish Podcast, and you can also look me up on Facebook by just typing Murderish Podcast. Awesome. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. Thanks for having me. This was awesome. Oh, so much fun. Bye, guys. Bye. Be silly. Have fun. Peace out. Shalom, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Can you do me something sweet right now and take one of your fingers and stick it in your nose and pull out that booger? Take your other finger and click the share button. Share this with somebody that you think would like this. Also, guys, ask your ask your ask one of your closest friends. Be like, what what's your fantasy house? Tell me about it. It's a fun way to get to know people. I think it's really nice. It's a pleasant way to do things and you could like do it anywhere. Yeah. You sit on the bus, look to the person to your left, be like, hey, What's your fantasy house? And if they don't answer you because you're some weirdo stranger, you know, look to your right. And then if no one answers you, stand up in the bus or the subway and just say, all right, well, here's my fantasy house. I'll go first.